Hey guys, so it's Jane here from Lady Gaming. In this video, I have some new gameplay of the Heist game mode in Black Ops 4. This is taken from Treyarch's recent live stream, and I'm not going to go too in-depth explaining the game mode because they do a pretty good job of that. But if any of you guys played Battlefield Hardline, it's kind of like the Heist game mode from Battlefield Hardline, but it's more like the DLC version of it called Squad Heist that was 5v5. So think about it like that, and it's also sort of mixed with CSGO where you can buy your weapons and stuff like that. Um, and you start off with the pistol. It just sounds super awesome and I'm really glad um, that Treyarch's sort of making these innovations in Call of Duty because this is something we've never seen before in the franchise. If you are new here, drive subscribe down below, but just sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. ...with something brand new that they haven't had before. And it's a mode that we've been working on. It's a lot of fun. It's very different for Call of Duty. Um, very different for Black Ops. Um, it's not gonna. Um, it's not gonna be anything like you expect um, in terms of how the game's played so far. Uh, but really, like the simple, simple thing is, you got two teams. Gonna grab a bag of cash, try to get to the extraction site so that it gets extracted by the helicopter, and keep your team alive. And that's how you win. And then I, you know, Matt's been working really hard on this on the design front. And there's, I think, a lot of really cool nuance that uh, that comes out of the team playing this game. So Matt, if, so tomorrow uh, we're gonna have, we're actually gonna fire up the live stream again with sound, and we're gonna have you and Dan back. We're gonna do a little sort of game with devs and yeah. play through some heists tomorrow morning at 11. Uh, and you've been instrumental in, in, this, in this mode. Tell us, tell us how this all goes down. Um, yeah, I mean, Dan really laid it out. Um, obviously, we've, we've had a great team working on this. Um, initially, it was kind of in, like we, we, we were inspired by uh, Blackout. Yeah. Um, actually, it's like, you know, the, 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 the aspect of starting with, with nothing or almost nothing and, and uh, kind of gaining power and escalating throughout the match. Uh, how, do, how do we bring that into our multiplayer universe? Uh, so we, we spent a lot of time, many meetings, many back and forths, and, and I, I, we're, we're in a really good spot right now with Heist. Uh, like Dan said, it's, it's two teams. Um, there are no attackers or defenders. Everybody is an attacker. Everybody is a defender. Uh, there's the neutral objective, which is the bag of cash, and that is your main objective. Uh, you want to get to that bag as soon as possible, and then as soon as you grab that bag, you're going to have a, an extraction helicopter come in somewhere in the map. Uh, you're going to have to hunt it down, and you're going to have to go extract that cash if you want the cash. Yeah. Uh, and if you're able to do that, you'll, you'll win that round. It is round-based. Um, it is uh, limited lives, single life. Uh, but we've again inspired by uh, blackout. We've got um, so when when a player takes fatal damage, they are going to go into uh, kind of a bleed out stage, um, and you're going to have a chance to revive teammates. Um, like Dan said, the the kind of meta that has um, we've seen in gameplay in our play tests um, internally has just been really inspiring and and it's it's again like control it heist really kind of personifies black ops 4 of you know uh i'll, I'll give you an example where we're just we're chatting you know before a round and i'm gonna take this okay well i'm gonna take this and we're gonna work together and it's it's uh i, I can't wait to play it tomorrow on stream yeah i think you see in this mode there's um it kind of just has evolved where people are sticking together more than i've ever seen any mode in Call of Duty at all. Yeah. And it's not like it's a required teamwork, it just it just happens. It's sort of, a, it's yeah. more of an emergent kind of behavior because players have to survive because they only have one life um, to live. So there, um, there is that, that desire to kind of stick together. And what I see is a lot of people talking on the mic beforehand, they're like, it's, tip, it's typically, are you gonna go for the bag or are you gonna, are you gonna flank? Like, what, what are the two options yep. you're gonna start with? Um, and you see a lot of kind of play, uh, behaviors and then counter behaviors to maneuver around and try to, uh, best the other team and um, it's a lot of fun to escalate too because everyone's trying to get that you know get most points per round so they can get the most cool stuff the next time around so there's a little bit of like Matt said there's a meta to it there's a strategy there's there's uh, there's some coordination about who's going to equip what and who's going to load out with what and um, I think that makes the game just deeper and, and more rewarding yeah. of course we we tried to strike um, actually like sort of this perfect balance between a party game style so you know Treyarch's always uh, done a lot of these party games that are really more kind of casual oriented and, and just fun to play around with. Um, so it's sort of a balance of a party game with something that has a competitive layer to it and it has sort of a competitive feel, but if you know, if you want to play it that way. Um, but it really is, it's really just a fun, I mean, I think more than anything, it's a fun party game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, like I've said to you, um, over the past few weeks, I've, I've had some, some people around the studio, you, you know, asking me, was this designed to be a competitive game mode? And it, it really wasn't. Um, obviously, when everything we designed, we wanted to be 
fair and balanced and competitive. Uh, but this one was, like Dan said, really inspired by those those party games that, that we've done before. Um, but just layering on that strategy and, and the tactical nature that Black Ops 4 just inherently has is it's uh, yeah. You can jump in and have fun and, and not take it too seriously, but if you want to, you can you can party up and it's just it's just a blast. Yeah. One of the cool things about Heist is what you've unlocked through rank progression and your guns and that doesn't matter. It's it's entirely self-contained. So you go into Heist and you earn what you earn within that game. The guns you get, the perks, yeah. uh, the attachments, everything you get is earned within the game. So if you're a low level and you maybe and, but you can still rank up in that game mode. So it's a great option there if you want to just uh, be on an equal playing field with all the other players. That's a good point. There's no creative class. Um, specialists don't. Uh, it's not. It's not really about specialists. If you can choose a specialist in the beginning, but that's really more of just a character select choice. Cosmetic. It doesn't um, have to do with the gameplay. All the gameplay is earned through the course of a match, and so um, it's a very, like I said, it's, it's a different twist. It's something that's different not only for uh, for Black Ops, but for the franchise, it's a really different kind of feel. But it's fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We've had so many hours of just you know, roaring, f hilarious, uh, epic <laughs> matches, which um, it just, it, it brings out the volume in people. <laughs> when you see these teams playing together, it actually yep. is, has a lot of like really just kind of cool, fun chaos to it. Very cool. Well, we look forward to, uh, to playing it tomorrow. Uh, so the uh, beta tech formally goes, goes live at 10 a.m. We'll be on stream at 11, playing through, through some heist with you guys.